All right, so let me adjust this. All right, so this video is about Free RPG Day, which was this past Saturday. Now, I've never participated. I've always tried to find a store when I was over in Ann Arbor. And I even looked just to be curious. I'm not in Ann Arbor anymore, but I looked just to see if there were any stores in the Ann Arbor area doing it. And the closest one was over a half hour away in, I don't know if it was like Wayne Westland area and Garden City. Um, I don't know, they were all closer to Detroit, further away from me. So anyways, this, but today, or not today, this past Saturday, I looked and the closest store was the Grand Land Gaming Center. And they had free RPG Day loot. Now, there's a couple things I did not get that I didn't see. And they were very gracious. They said, hey, feel free to help yourself. Take, you know, more than one, but please do us a favor and leave enough for other people who are going to come into the store. So I respected that, and I understand that. Now, the, the things I didn't get right off the top of my head, Mage the Ascension, uh, I didn't see that. Uh, but Nate was uh, was D20, I think, got that. I also did not see the Chessex D6 that says, like, 9th Annual Free RPG Day. I didn't see that, and I didn't see the Pathfinder Collector's Cards, which I was kind of hoping for that, and the die. Actually, all three of those things I was really hoping for, but I didn't see them. Uh, part of it could have been I got caught up in conversation, but that's okay. It was still really cool, and I still got quite a bit of cool stuff, and I'm really excited. Uh, so... Anyways, um, one of the things I got that other people have already talked about was Cosmic Patrol. Now, it's the Quick Start Rules and Continuance Contingency. And so I looked through it, and it looks like they have other books that are free PDFs online. Uh, and they're on Drive -through RPG as free PDFs. So you can probably still pick this up as a free, um, free game online. And, uh, yeah, so they have a couple others, like, um, Into, Into the Cosmos, um, The Moon Must Be Ours. So, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, not sure if I'll ever play it. Like most of these, I don't know if I'll ever play them, but I will definitely read them. I've already looked through a lot of them. Actually, I've looked through all of them and skimmed them, at least. Some of them I've read. Uh, but yeah, so that's the first thing I got. Cosmic Patrol. So... I don't know, it might be good for a one-off one, one -off shot and see if I like it. Um, the next thing I got was not an actual RPG. Um, it is actually a choose-your-own-path kind of book. It's called Time Travel Dinosaur by choose Omatic Books. And it's the Mesozoic Mayhem. So, again, that's really cool. I took I, My wife didn't go with me, so when I got home... And I showed her the things I got. She, this is one of the things she got really excited about. I actually thought she was going to read it, she said. So a little bit of artwork, and you can choose different paths for different things. So very cool. So I don't know. It's a good good book for kids. So yeah, about 84 pages or so. So, so I got that. Then something that I know Tim Harper would like is the Lamentations of the Flame Princess Adventures. And it's called the Doom the Doom Cave of the Crystal-Headed Children. Um, so it, the cover comes right off, and then you still got this. And the inside of the cover is a map. So very cool. Um, but yeah, so I've skimmed through this. Uh, it looks interesting. It could always be used as an adventure in anyone's homebrew game. So that's pretty cool. Uh, then there is The God's Fall, and um, yeah, I don't know. It's quick start rules, basically, and tells you how to play the game, gives you some pre-gens and stuff. It's a D6 mechanic only. Um, so, I don't know, this one looks pretty cool, too. Again, I wouldn't mind running it as a one-shot, so just to see if I like it. Um, but yeah. Then there is the Valiant Universe RPG Quick Start Rules, Experience the Harbinger, Harbinger Wars by Catalyst Game Labs. So, um, really pretty too. I was looking through this and the artwork in here is awesome. Like, look at that. That just looks really cool to me. I love it. Like, this game, I don't know much about the system, um, but it looks like. 
just the artwork in here and how pretty this book looks makes me want to play it. So you got this dude who almost looks like Colossus or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, it'd be fun, a fun one shot. So you get these character sheets in here. It's the same as the Cosmic one, um, the Cosmic Patrol game. So very similar looking setup. Then uh, there's 13th Age, Make Your Own Luck. So this one looks really good too. Um, I, you know, I don't know much about 13th Age, uh, but I got a book for it now and I could always run it. So um, again, it might be cool for a one shot. Now, I've, I've never been one who just likes to try a bunch of new games. But lately, since I've given Savage Worlds a shot and I started trying to go to the Grand Land for uh, Open RPG Night, I'm a little more open to trying new games. Um, and so far, from what I've tried, or at least gotten to know the rules a little bit, I've enjoyed. So, um, again, I might try a lot of these. So, then I got Shadowrun Quick Start Rules. And the funny thing about this one. Oh, run the streets of the sixth world with the new free RPG day adventure, adventure, Spoiled Rotten. This is also by Catalyst Game Labs. Now, I don't know if that means it has the same system as that other game, um, but it looks interesting. Uh, beautiful artwork again. So, now I actually grabbed this, and then I saw next to it this, so I grabbed that. But that's just one book, so I got a couple of these. So, Battletech, A Time of War, Quick Start Rules, Character Assassination. So, I got these two games in one twice. So, um, yeah, by the time you guys see this, I will have probably sent this out to somebody um, who actually sent me a package yesterday, and I'm expecting that tomorrow. Uh, he just asked me for my address and decided to send me something. So, um, that was pretty cool of him. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Really excited. Now, this one I've read through a few times, and it's the Castles and Crusades, and it's called uh, A Druid's Lament. So um, this one I will probably run as an adventure for a game sometime, whether it's Pathfinder, D&D, Palladium Fantasy, um, because I actually kind of like this adventure, and I already have ideas to twist it and change it to different things. So, again, very cool. I'm really glad I got this. And Castles and Crusades uh, is a game I'd like to try sometime. So, that's cool. Um, this one, this next one, I thought it would be better. I've heard a lot about the game, um, and it's Dungeon Crawl Classics. Now, I don't have a problem with it. I guess the thing that kind of put me off was the artwork, actually. It's just... Um, while it's better than what I could do, it's just not as pretty as I thought. It probably is supposed to, but it reminds me of very old D&D artwork. Like, very old D&D artwork. Uh, so, I don't know. But then you get, like, this. And this is supposed to be the map. Well, the map is actually really hard to decipher unless you really look at it. So, uh, and I feel like a map like this should be much easier to read. So... I don't know. Um, it's Pathfinder compatible, which is cool, but I just, I don't think I'm ever going to use this. So, yeah, so that's that. And then I saved the best for last that I picked up, and that is the Pathfinder module Risen from the Sands. Now, I've seen other people talk about this, and one of the good things about this, not only does it have an adventure in Osirion, Osirion, but at the end, it previews some of the classes from the new advanced class book. You get the Blood Rager right there and the Investigator. Now, I've already heard people talking about the Blood Rager being wrong in a few ways. Uh, one of them was while raging. I think, like, the hit points are wrong or something. Um, but people figured out where the numbers came from I believe. I'll try and find out more about it but there's a couple things that are wrong about the Blood Rager so be sure to look that over if you know a lot about Pathfinder before you allow that unless you really don't mind using it as is um, 
But yeah, I think that's what it was. And I, I think it is the hit points because you look at hit points, it says 3d10 plus 3 at 28. Uh, see, that sounds fine. I, I don't know what it was. Oh, blood raging statistics. Hit points 34. And that's supposed to be 3d10 plus 3. So the max would be 33. And he has 34. Yet his constitution is 13. So it's almost like max rolls for everything to get 34. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it was. See, that doesn't make sense because under blood raging is con 17. Again, I don't know. I'll have to look into it a little bit more. But yeah, so you get those two classes. You also get the Swashbuckler and the War Priest. So that's really cool. Um, I wouldn't mind using those characters and slapping them in as NPCs. And that's usually how I'll use Iconics like that. So that's what I got. And uh, yeah, so again, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, share this with anybody you know who's into tabletop RPGs. Uh, if you know anybody that's you know, local to Grandland Gaming Center. Share this video with them. Whatever you feel like doing. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.